with y'all. Y'all heard that? I need some extra shmoney, some extra cash, some extra moolah, some extra dinero, some extra chicken, some extra whatever you want to call it, okay? I need some extra dough. <laughs> that was my biggest pet peeve. Now, baby! channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, come here. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button on this video, baby. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you very much to my amazing supporters. Y'all know, if you've been supporting from the beginning, I love you forever. I appreciate you forever. And we locked in for life. Like, we locked in, okay? So, as y'all can tell by the title of this video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about my first job and my worst job. I was gonna incorporate my best job as well, but I feel like that deserve a whole separate video, a whole separate life story time because that's gonna be juicy I'm gonna tell you how I was cashing checks and all that okay <laughs> okay I'll just play y'all but today is Saturday January 28th it's currently 3 53 p.m y'all and second video of the day I'm hungry I'm ready to eat so I got me some pizza y'all as y'all can see and we got some soda today we got some Fanta to pop baby some champagne to pop all right <laughs> anyways y'all so we don't get into it i ain't gonna hold y'all too long but i'm gonna talk to y'all about my first job i wrote it down right here so i'm gonna tell y'all my first job like while i was in school and then my first job out of school so the first job i've ever had it was like an internship type of job so that's what my first job was but i worked at the mayor's office which was pretty cool and i feel like ever since then i've been for a long time let me just say i've been stuck in like an office setting hold on i gotta pull her up y'all y'all heard that i don't want all of it though so yeah but anyways that's that's where i started y'all my first first ever like job was at the mayor's office i worked at the mayor's office it was pretty cool it was pretty fun it was like high level professional type of job like that's what it really was well now i'm questioning was that really my first job i don't know now i feel like it may not have been okay <laughs> it's between there now i'm questioning myself i tried to check my resume but Mm. I tried to check my resume on, but it's not on there. Cause this is when I was in high school, and after a while, you gotta take off some experiences. So, yeah. But. I think my first job was either there or at this insurance company, now that I'm remembering. Um, at that insurance company, I know for sure I was like filing papers and scanning documents. That's the main thing I remember doing. And I was, um, what's it called? I had to like, there was these notebooks that had spiral things in them that needed to be scanned in, so I had to remove them to scan them in. So, that was that. Ooh. Oh my god, yo. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a feeling. Mm. I'm gonna finish my soda, even though I don't want to. Y'all, yeah, because I don't wanna break out. I don't wanna get back out. I don't wanna break out, y'all. 
got to protect my nice skin, my nice face. Hmm. I'm hungry, y'all. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna tell y'all, cause I'm. All right, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me still try this real quick. So that was like in between those two jobs. That was my first first job when I was in high school. Coming out of college, on the other hand, my first real job coming out of college, y'all, I worked at a law firm as a legal assistant. That's what I did as my first like real job. And it was super stressful, I think. I think it was kind of stressful. Because I just wasn't used to it. So well, it was good. It was a cool job. My main job was like I think I was e-filing documents and just processing like paperwork. That's mainly what I remember doing there. But now my worst job, because that's the real tea behind this video, actually. That's the real tea. The worst job I ever had is two. The first one, y'all, is retail. I'm not going to say the name of the store because in the future, like, I might get a brand deal with them. And I don't want to mess that up. Like, we can't mess up the bag in 2023. We can't. All right? So... I'm about to get into my worst job ever. Mm. Now this cheese is bussing. pizza by the way that I'm eating. Y'all like pizza? I love pizza. Comment below what kind of pizza you like. Comment below. And subscribe to my channel. And don't forget I'm reminding y'all. Mmm. So bomb. Mmm. That part is too hard. Alright, I'm about to get into the worst job I ever had, y'all. It was at a retail store I'll never forget. I was in college at the time, and it was during the holidays, y'all. And cheers to making it out that job, okay? That's all I got to say. I need me a bath, because we're going to talk about this. Excuse me. Something about that soda, baby. That's just so satisfying. All right. So, we're going to talk about my worst job ever, y'all. Worst job I ever had. I'm going to tell y'all. I was a stripper at. <laughs> okay. So, I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. Just play, y'all. Just play. Never been a stripper before, y'all. Maybe I was a tattoo artist. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll just play. I'll just play, y'all. Okay. Wait, I think I got one more for y'all because I wrote these down. Or maybe I was a makeup artist. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Worst job I ever had, y'all, was at this retail store. I'll never forget it. I was in college at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. I was in college at the time and I wanted to make some extra money so this place was hiring y'all know during the holidays i gotta put my glasses on so i can feel like i'm looking at y'all for because i'm not even right now but y'all know during the holidays like you know everywhere is hiring like temp workers seasonal workers all that so i needed some extra money some extra cash some extra moolah some extra dinero some extra chicken some extra Whatever you want to call it, okay? I needed some extra dough. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I needed some extra money, y'all. So I decided to pick up this part-time seasonal job. 
at this retail store. Worst job I ever had, y'all. Ever since then, I hated retail. I have never worked in retail ever since. That was my first time working in retail, and that was dead my last time working in retail, okay? Every single time. It was a department store, and it, it had clothes. I was in the clothes department, right? So in the clothes department, y'all, every five minutes, people would come in and mess up the sweaters, and I would have to re- them y'all that was my biggest pet peeve working in that place okay was have to constantly like I felt like I was going after like two-year-olds after kids after toddlers like that's what I felt like I kept having to clean up after kids only to observe that it's big grown-ups that's coming in they picking up the sweaters and unfolding them and just throwing them down they don't fold them and put them back even worse, the part I hated was y'all know the racks when the clothes is there and they be falling out on the floor and I had to pick them up, hang them back on the floor, pick them up. Like, I hated that, baby. That was not for me. But, as I personally believe that everything happens for a reason, I feel like the biggest lesson I got out of that, y'all, ever since then, it just gave me like this discipline to like fold up my clothes, put it away. Number one, that's like the first thing I could say it taught me as much as I hated it because I used to have this bad habit, y'all. Like I used to go home, take my clothes off and just throw my clothes down and them clothes would pile up. I swear y'all for like a good two weeks straight. So imagine every single day you coming home and you just throwing out your clothes and it's just piling up like you know so when i worked at that retail store i worked there for maybe like a good two months i think i don't remember how long exactly but those two months baby it taught me some discipline so that was like the first thing that it taught me the second thing y'all until this day if i go to a store and i drop something off the hanger i can't help but pick it up and put it back on like before that i used to just leave it and be like oh that's their job they go and do it or whatever now baby i'm self-conscious like i am self-conscious i'm like mm -mm. like let me make their job a little bit easier like just a smidge easier because who wants to be doing that like you know what I'm trying to say? Who wants to be doing that? So that, I would say, was one of the worst jobs I ever had. But the most positive thing that came out of it was it taught me the discipline of, um, mm, it taught me the discipline of, like, putting my clothes away when I take them off. Like, now, I think the most my clothes will even pile up is maybe, like, two days when I sit. Like two days worth of clothes. Mm. Yeah. But before that, I used to go week, two weeks, my clothes would be all piled up. So I would say that was one of my worst jobs. I don't know. Y'all want a bite? Take a bite. Take a bite. Mm. You know what's driving me crazy with this pizza? It's how the cheese keeps snatching it off. Like, oops. Like, who told you to snatch off? Like, mm mm. Mm mm. Mm. I'm done eating, 
ja. But yeah, that basically sums up like my first job and my worst job. Oh, I was supposed to tell y'all about the second worst job I ever had. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to tell y'all about it. The second worst job I ever had, y'all. I had this job through this uh, temp agency one time. And y'all, you know, this was like a temp to perm job. It was supposed to be temporary to permanent, y'all, right? They was supposed to be hiring. When 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 I got the job, they were hiring. Okay? They were hiring. Like, seriously, they were hiring. Soon as I get in there and got that job, I ain't going to disclose too much information, but the girl that I was working with, they decided they was gonna split her job and give me half and give her half. But she's been there for like a few years or whatever. So she i ain't mad at her because you know i understand but still it wasn't cool like i don't respect what she did so she goes she kept saying little stuff like because it was i ain't gonna tell you what kind of job it was but it was like an office job let me just say that and it was related to like finance or whatever yeah it was related to finance payroll that along that line so she went and she decided she she, was, she kept saying like, oh, I gotta feed my son. Like, this is not gonna work. I don't see why they needed to bring in a second person or I don't see why they hired you. Like, she kept saying stuff like that. So I'm like, my mom, just the same way you got a son to feed, I don't got a son yet, but I maybe need to eat just like you. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I need to eat just like you need to eat, okay? So I need a job just like you. I did my best. I learned everything. They taught me everything, all this stuff. One day, like, remember I told you, this girl kept saying that, saying that, saying it. And I was like, what's her issue? Like, she's mad because her coins are going to be shortened. Because when they decided it was going to split her role, that just meant no more, like, overtime or stuff like that. And she ain't like that. She ain't like that. You get what I'm trying to say? Her, her budget was going to be cut. So she decided to go and tell the supervisor that basically what she said i think she told him that so the supervisor calls me one day randomly because the supervisor don't work in the office she worked in another like she worked in max or whatever so supervisor decides to call me and she was like oh um i don't feel this job is for you whoop de whoop man what do you mean you don't feel this job is for you i kept asking her she said i can't tell you why but i just don't feel this is for you so i left <laughs> and I feel like that was the worst job I had because for me like if you feel like I'm not fit for something tell me why so I could do better but I personally feel like like I said that girl said something to her she probably lied on me or whatever and the supervisor didn't know how to like bring it up but only thing she could say is I didn't feel this job was for you and I decided to left. but the blessing that came out of that remember I told y'all everything happened for a reason even though it was my worst job it got me my best job that I ever had, which I'll tell y'all about in another video. But the best job that I ever had ended up being a payroll job. And because of the experience I received from that place, um, it lended me a better job. So although it was the worst job I had, it gave me like the one of the biggest blessings I had. Let me just say that. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all in this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Comment below, like, what's the, what's y'all first, what was y'all first job? Or if you're not, like, working yet, like, if you were a kid, because I know there's, like, kids that watch my channel, teenagers that watch my channel and stuff, which I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Comment below, like, what would you want your first job to be? Like, what would you want your first job to be? And if you already have, like, a job experience or had job experiences, what was your first job and what was your worst job? And, I guess you could share why but yeah that's the story of like my job experiences and stuff like that and even if it was your worst job what was the best thing that ended up coming out of it or what was like the best lesson that you feel like you learned from it so that's pretty much all I got for y'all don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment this video and we're gonna take one more shot of Fanta because we feel it fantastic okay y'all cheers to more mukbang videos I'm gonna 
see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great.